How's it going folks? Thought I'd do a little bit of a harvest clip, uh, mainly because I've been asked the question what are you harvesting at the moment? Uh, mainly by people in the northern hemisphere who are in summer. We're in the southern hemisphere, subtropical southeast Queensland, Australia, and we're picking pretty much all some of the same veggies as our mates in the northern hemisphere are picking at the moment, mainly due to our warmer climate. Uh, we get very, very mild winters here. I mean, we had a couple of mornings below zero um, or freezing uh, for a couple of hours and then it warms up again to the high teens or low 20s Celsius that is. So I thought I'd just bring you along and show you what we're picking. Uh, please keep in mind we don't pick this amount of produce every day. Uh, today I picked a whole heap of tomatoes and yesterday a whole heap of turmeric and ginger. We don't pick this quantity of fruit and veg every day. Um, we probably give ourselves four people meal. We give ourselves probably three to four full veggie sides a week from the garden, uh, that's the nighttime side. During the week for lunch, the girls and I'll pick a couple of greens and shallots and that sort of things, maybe a couple of tomatoes. But yeah, most of our produce gets picked for our evening meals and we just graze through the day. So anyway, before the sun goes down, I'll give you a bit of a look at a couple of the peas I've already picked and then just take you around the patch and show you the rest. So these are a couple of snap peas I've already picked from the plants up near the aquaponics and just a couple of sunshine chilies or RJ Amarillos. The other snap peas are just up there um, near the aquaponics. I've weeded a couple of thistle plants out of that bed the other day and I think I've disturbed some of the roots of one of the plants and killed it. But you get that. The other snap peas are just here in front of me. Um, they're just growing on an old door grill just in one of these wicking beds down the back. There's a couple of peas on, not a great deal, so I'll snip off all the nice fat juicy pods, whatever we don't eat for dinner. I'm sure Bianca will hoe in too for a snack afterwards. We've actually had a very good season for these snap peas this year. Uh, normally we grow snow peas and snap peas, but we decided just to go with the snap peas this year. A couple of big ones I saw down here. Ones down the bottom always get missed. I'm too tall. Couple over the back here. Couple of fatties down here. So there we go, just a nice tidy little handful of um, snap peas. Off now to the broccoli. So most of these broccoli plants have had their main heads taken out and we're just getting side shoots come through. We're, there's one there that we should have probably picked the other day but I took a big head off from out the front. And over the back there we also have a cauliflower that needs to be harvested so... So some of these are a little bit lanky but they'll still go, do all right in a salad. A couple of flowers, the flowers are more than edible as well. And these stalks are very, very um, tender, so we'll slice them thinly and they'll go into the sliced salad as well. So a nice little picking there. I'll just pop over and grab this purple collie. So it's only a very small purple collie. It looks like something's had a bit of a nibble at it today. They weren't there this morning when I walked through. So those leaves will probably get sliced up as well and put through this salad. And the same again with the stem, that'll be sliced up and put through as well. Now off to, actually, I want to show you this lettuce. So this lettuce in the middle of my new collie seedlings, um, this one here, I've been lying off for quite a while. I've just noticed that he's starting to bunch up in the center like some of the others. So I think he's going to go to seed soon. So what I thought I might do is just for tonight, I'll take the crown out and that will prevent him from going to seed and we'll get a nice little bit of greenery to put through the salad or on the side and we can come back and continue to pick off these leaves and what will happen is, I'll just pan around and show you the other lettuce we'll probably end up getting multiple seed heads like this one over here this is one I've been progressively picking for the last few weeks so we'll end up with a load of seed heads off that we'll be able to clear, collect the seeds I have noticed though that these larger leaves down the base here they're pretty much all best to be eaten before the seeds start to set and the plant starts to bolt to flower otherwise they do tend to get a little bit bitter just down here in between some carrot seeds someone played Johnny Appleseed with we have some more volunteer lettuce coming through so we'll pretty much fall assured of continual supplies of lettuce coming through the patch we've actually got a couple of volunteers up there I just noticed a little bit further up near the other cauliflower we have some baby celery just starting to come through from a plant that was in the bed next to this one and the seed has sort of spread and we also have some other volunteers in that bed there as well there's some celery just and some mustard from where I harvested the turmeric the other day. Just here we have some nice looking mustard leaves so I might take off a couple of the younger smaller ones and they can go into the salad as well. Not many of these, the girls find them a little bit too spicy so just a couple. Then around to the aquaponics, only taking a few things from the aquaponics today. Just some of these young red veined sorrel leaves, 
The girls don't like the older ones, they prefer these um, smaller ones from the centre. So we'll take a couple of them. Oh. I find the larger ones, if I take the vein out, they don't complain as much. I mean, I'll eat anything, but I like to keep them happy. So just a small handful of these guys. Or else, up or down here. We have some of these in their wicking beds out the back too that are producing fairly well for us. So we'll pop them in the basket. Over the back here we've got some parsley. Uh, this is our best year ever for the flat leaf parsley. Um, just doing really well in the aquaponics and in the soil bed. So I won't grab a lot of parsley because seriously, the girls have overdosed on it. They've had more than their fill of parsley, I think, for the time being. So I'll just add a couple of leaves in. I could nip off a couple of these beetroot seedling leaves. Oh, they're not really seedlings anymore. But I think I really do need to hook into this Okinawan spinach. There's just far too much of it growing in the aquaponics at the moment. We need to clear some of it out. We've been eating so much of this. Luckily, the girls haven't started complaining about this stuff. Um, it has a nice lettucey carrot sort of flavour. I really like these, these fresh young shoots. Just up here at the carrot barrel, these are carrots that um, we grew from seed save last year. So we've been progressively picking these. I know a lot of people, depending on your climate, will do a um, sow out your um, plants and harvest them all in one hit. Um, I know a couple of people here in Australia in the cooler climates that do that. But because we have such a mild winter, I can just leave these guys in. There's no point harvesting these guys all at once and trying to blanch and store them when I can leave them in the ground. Just fill in that little hole there. Um, I find they stay nice and tender and sweet. We haven't had any problems with them going bitter or anything like that, so there we go. So just down here is a whole heap of tomatoes that I picked this afternoon. I actually posted a picture to um, Instagram on these guys, um, and then after I posted the picture, I realised I really hadn't done it justice. Some of these fruit, they're not all perfect. A lot of them are split. Uh, some of these Bundaberg rumballs I took off in one hit mainly because they were hard to reach, so I just took a whole hand off, and these guys will ripen up in the kitchen. Generally, they come out like that when they're fairly ripe. Um, these guys are a nice salad tomato, not something we'd probably, probably preserve with. So down here we got the summertime golds, a beautiful sweet little um, dwarf tomato, the yellow ones. And our cherries, um, that's our, sorry, our yellow currants and then just the feral red cherries. Just to show you a couple of the tomatoes that didn't really make it into the shot. These two, the summertime gold and the Werikanawi, um, this one was on a plant sort of facing like that. So I thought it was green and when I turned it around after I picked it, I found out there was a big blemish on it. So all we'll do with that is just cut it off. Um, still edible. Same with this little um, summertime gold. Just cut out that bad spot. Still edible. I'm not going to waste this just because it's got a bit of a blemish on it. I mean, this, this little bit here that we cut out won't go to waste. The chickens will get it or it'll end up in the compost. So. There you go, I just thought I'd point that out, you know, not everything is picture perfect and beautiful, but, you know, you've got to expect that you are going to lose a, a small amount of produce, but there's no reason you have to throw it all out, cut out the bad bits and you can still use it. So there you go folks, there's a bit of a look at what we're picking out of the patch uh, midwinter here in South East Queensland, Australia. Um, I know it's fairly similar to what a lot of our mates in the cooler regions of the Northern Hemisphere are growing at the moment as well. So I'd really be interested in seeing what other people around the world are growing at the moment. If you're here on YouTube, people from Africa, um, South America, I do follow one person on Instagram from South America, has a really nice patch. Um, also too, Asia, um, I have Mark, a mate on Facebook, he's shown me some of the taro, he's grown monstrous stuff. Um, so I would really be interested to know what other people are growing at this time of year. Uh, also too, if you do like this sort of stuff, feel free to subscribe. We've also got an Instagram and a Facebook account, so you can subscribe there. There'll be a little thing somewhere that shows you where they are. All links in the description, I should say. Um, other than that, that's pretty much well lit. I've got to get this stuff up and the girls ready for jujitsu. If you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, feel free to pop them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you where I can. Hope everyone is well and happy and I'll catch you next clip. Cheers folks. So I thought I should show you what we turned all these pickings into. We had a green salad off to one side with all the leafy veg and all the rest went into a chopped salad that had a creamy honey mustard dressing. Also managed to sneak in a small finger of turmeric without the girls noticing. All in all a pretty tasty meal. Cheers folks.